we're actually looking at ourselves, aren't we? We're not actually looking at the camera. You want to look at the camera? You want to look there. I could, like, cover it. No, don't cover it. I look good. <laughs> I look there, I promise. Hi! Hi. Hello. (laughs) Welcome. Welcome back to a story worth telling. You're looking at yourself. I I know, already, (laughs) already. We may have upgraded the equipment to a nice camera, and now we're a little little bit bit. obsessed of not looking at you and looking at ourselves, because we've never been able to see ourselves before, and it's really nice. It's why all of the, um, all the previous videos, there's been, like, bits of the wall I think you can see like my drying clothes in a previous video it's all very amateur anyway we hope you're well yes um do we have life updates um busy <laughs> busy 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 life Halloween's coming up Halloween is coming up gay Christmas is coming up gay Christmas <laughs> Yes. We could do like a Halloween. Could do a Halloween special. I did say we should do like a Halloween, um, because there's that gay Halloween film. There's that gay horror film. Which one? What's it called? I can't remember, but it's Is like it a the, horror they have film. Gays in it and they get no, killed. it's like specifically gay men get killed. <laughs> if you know it, please, okay. please. So the movie's comment. a hate crime. It's a hate crime. No, but it's funny. It was made years ago. I'll have to go over it. Okay. Yeah. Can't so maybe we'll do a Halloween it. special. Yeah. That could be fun. Yes. But we should cool, actually cool. Like, get dressed up for that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Do some makeup and stuff. I'm a makeup expert now. Uh-huh. Anyway. Uh-huh. So today, in light of the new Bond film being released, we thought it'd be quite nice to... Oh, shit. Hang on. You, you, need to, you need to lean in. Oh, lean in like that. Yeah. Oh, that's like Charlie's Angels. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we could do like the ding, 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 ding. I don't know. Well, we can't do that. Oh, Bond girl, anyway. I do this. <laughs> I'm going to actually work, you know. Da, da, da. <laughs> not going to focus. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, right. Um, so, yes. yeah, we're doing a scene from Skyfall. Uh, I haven't seen the new Bond movie, actually. I haven't so, seen it either. Yeah, this is, there's no spoilers here. But it is an interesting kind of, like, concept to kind of do a, a, a queer critique on, like, a series of films that are very iconic to, like, you know... Being misogynistic and... Yeah! Outrageously <laughs> straight. Yeah. Well, it's the... I think the, this is a good scene because it's, it's, like, the only kind of bit of queer... It's a little bit of queer representation. It's kind of like... you've never I've never seen anything like it in Bond film before. Or, or since. Or since. Although I would say that quite a lot of the villains are, are you know, typically very camp. Well, it's really interesting that because I, I remember watching or reading something and there is like this kind of history of the way in which villains are portrayed as like mm. camp, effeminate, almost gay acting, if you like, men. Yeah. And is it, is it in a way a comment a a on, time. yeah, like are we saying gay men are bad or evil or whatever? But... I tell you what, they do it really well. They do it really well. <laughs> I don't think anyone does it as well. Silver. Yeah. He's, we, he's, he's good. Should we watch the clip? Let's do it. Let's watch the clip. The subject is not approved for field duty and immediate suspension from service advised. What is this if not betrayal? Mommy was very bad. Hmm. See what she's done to you. Well, she never tied me to a chair. Her loss. Are you sure this is about him? It's about her. And you and me. We are the last two rats. We can either eat each other. Or eat everyone else. Remember your training and all? What's the regulation to cover this? Well, first time for everything. What makes you think this is my first time? Oh, Mr. Bond. Love that scene. <laughs> it's actually like very high 
sexual tension throughout oh, yeah. like, the majority the of the, the scene. You just don't really like put two and two together. And then, yeah. I think it's brilliant. I think what it is, I guess I don't really remember kind of like it standing out when I first watched it. But watching it again, it does kind of stand out as something that's like very different that, that we would have seen from Bond films that we wouldn't have seen before. Yeah. Like it does stand out. Yeah, he probably did have sex with, like, if you're going to be a spy, you might as well, like. What I really love about that scene is that, it like, they could have gone down the line of making Silver really camp, making him kind of, like, creepy, kind of, like, touchy-feely, and everyone being like, oh. And then Bond comes back with that line of, like, what makes you think this is my first time? And it's like, ooh, yeah. okay. It's, it's not just the thing for, like, creepy camp villains it like start it tries to go down that stereotype and then it breaks the boundaries and kind of goes oh no let's flip it on itself and you know yeah he could have done that and that's always i think that's really good i think i think it's really good to see something like a classic like bond throw that in there and throw Mm. it in a mix and kind of yeah i think it's a really good form of representation do you think the rats Eating each other. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> what that is about. There's something. He gave that look, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. But it's also, all... he was talking about like nature, and in my head, I thought he was talking about like, huh? Maybe if there was something in there about like conversion therapy or something. He's changed his nature. Mm. No, I think that's no. A bit... I think that's no. way too reading into that's... it. <laughs> <laughs> but then you're right. Like you don't really see anything like that again in any other films. If, Bond's, Bond's never going to be gay, is he? No, he's and I don't think I would necessarily care if he was, like, if he wasn't. Like, no. if he started sleeping with men in the films, <laughs> I would be a bit like, okay, well, he was literally this, with women for so long. Turn, yeah. like... <laughs> <laughs> that rat is now eating something else! <laughs> but it's, yeah, it is really nice to see that kind of, like, that just that little hint of well the possibilities like who says i haven't done that very high sexual tension though it's just crazy he's a great villain he's the best villain i think yeah that they've had for sure but you're all right villains do have a lot of like they're very calm yeah they have like a queerness about them that i guess very like confident isn't it they're always very yeah and it's a performance as well it's a it's like a big performance that's why Halloween is our favourite time. Yeah. <laughs> Put on a show. Uh, it's cute. It's cute. I'm glad we did that. Yeah. We just thought, as it's Bond, maybe a little throwback. Throwbacks! Yeah. Um, if you have any other kind of, like, specific scenes and stuff yeah. that you want us to, like, comment or review on, because sometimes it is just that. Like, sometimes you can be watching something... And it will be like one, it doesn't necessarily have to be like a whole thing. It'd just be like one scene in this particular show that isn't necessarily queer, but it stands out like that does for like the Bond uh, series. And yeah, it, and we'll it, it. Can, it can be very good for our representation. It can. Thanks like, so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and join our Patreon. Yeah. Woo! We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.